Bitcoin futures. Bitcoin futures continue to consolidate and absorb supply just below the previous highs. The previous highs are at this level here. This is the highs of that range. This is the secondary breakdown line. And this is where the market initially attempted to consolidate. And there was obviously going to be supply from the left there. That's what all this market had to do to work its way through this level prior to accelerating higher. Now this week, earlier in the week, the market did attempt to move higher from the previous bar's close, but there was very little demand in the market. There was some demand. It wasn't sufficient to maintain the higher prices. And in return, price did then drift lower and continue to consolidate Volumes continue to be high. They've been high for the most part for many weeks now. I think this market would really like to absorb that supply and go back to more normal, more average volumes and perhaps produce a, a bar that looked something like this on this sort of volume. That would be closer to ideal to show that there's reduced supply in the market, reduced activity, because that will allow the market to push up on more average volumes. These high volumes all the time are detrimental to price moving higher with ease. So just keep your eye on it. It's consolidating sideways. It's not losing much ground, but it's also not in a position to accelerate higher with relative ease while volumes are so high. It can do so, but generally it's not sustainable and it'll push up and then be sold into and push and pull back again in response. So a sustainable push higher generally sees volumes at average or even just a fraction below average. And that allows the market to move higher with relative ease. So we'll see how it goes. I think you're gonna have another week of consolidation, hopefully, on lower volumes.